Hello world, this is day number two of me sleeping in a minivan. <laughs> it's an experiment, it's really an adventure, you know, I, I slept till last night and um, I didn't know, if, I don't even know if this is allowed, like, <laughs> I didn't know if a police officer was going to be shining his light through the windows saying, what are you doing? And I have a camera in my car, I have my clothes, I have my everything on my gear um, and I'm comfortable in here, so, but I wouldn't know how to explain it, but I'm really just learning to live with less. It's really not that bad. Um, like I said, it's comfortable in here. Outside of like, you can't even see it. To my right are these nice condos full of palm trees. Um, there's the front of the ride. And then to my left is this like nice bay. I'm in Newport Beach. Like during the day, there's like a lot of beautiful people, beautiful people running, staying fit, staying in shape, motivating me. Um, last night was, wasn't, bad at all I slept comfortable I slept throughout the whole night only two things that came up were I had to pee in the middle of the night but I can't just slide open the sliding door and then pee right there in the street well I could but that wouldn't be appropriate <laughs> so there was that and then I woke up cold um, in the early morning because um, I was only wearing shorts but today I got sweats I got socks um, and I'm good well I was wearing a sweater last night but I wasn't I was only wearing shorts but today I'm wearing sweats so I'm gonna be warm I woke up like five minutes before my alarm this morning turned on the heater it was nice and toasty in here got up the cool thing was that I went straight to the gym I mean if I was at home in my room I don't know what it is maybe routine but I would get up out of bed make my bed so many different things that I have to do before I leave the house and then I'm out the door like 30 45 minutes maybe an hour after I get up but today I just woke up, I was at the gym in like 5 minutes. Worked out really hard, showered, ready for my day, had breakfast, did some things on the computer, and I was ready for the conference. Oh, and the whole reason I'm here is because of the conference. Conference, I mean, I'm living, I'm like, I'm in this minivan right now on purpose, like consciously. I could easily go to the Marriott, but I'm learning to live with less. Because I know abundance is coming my way. I know rides are coming my way. I know opportunities are coming my way, no doubt. Especially because I'm reawakening. I'm just finding my passions again, finding my purpose. I feel like I'm reborn. It's like amazing. It's like such a cool process I'm going through on this this cool journey in life. So I'm learning a lot and like um today there's so many cool insights, concepts and um one weird thing, well at first I originally thought it was weird, but I was committed to it was we're not allowed to have our cell phones or a clock, a watch on us and the on the walls are these two clocks but they covered up we're in there for 14 hours um, and we don't have no idea what time it is so at first I was like the time's gonna go by so slowly I usually look at my clock and my phone all the time and but truthfully today it ended like ele like we end around 11 11 15 and it ended regardless of what time it was it ended and I was like already like it came out like I wasn't even, it just came already we're done um, I wanted to be there a little longer. So it's really cool. It made me really conscious about time. I mean, throughout the day, even today, just by habit, I pulled into my pocket. I didn't even have my phone. I was like, oh, I wanted to check my email or see the time. Why? You know what I mean? I have. Why do we check our email when it's unnecessary? We could be in the present moment. We're interacting with other people. We're making memories, experiences. We're learning. I mean, just think back when you go to lunch. Go Be observant. If you were a group of people, even one person, look and see if they're interacting or are they, is their face in their phone. I see that all the time. Um, but it's cool, it's a really cool concept and I gotta really disassociate from my phone so I can be more productive, I can focus on what's important in the moment and then you know the phone isn't always urgent but we make it urgent for some reason. And then lessons. Life offers us lessons. This is a cool concept you know um, there's always little signs or little lessons that life offers us. They start off small you know, but then they get bigger and bigger. If we're not conscious, if we're not aware, we don't observe them, we don't learn from them, then these lessons just keep reoccurring in our lives as patterns. The same thing. And if we don't observe them, then they just get bigger until they become significant for us to see in our health, in our finances, in our relationships, things like that. So that's a really cool concept to me. Other than that, I'm really opening up to a lot of different people. They're opening up to me, telling me a lot of intimate things. And it's just amazing, connecting. Um, being vulnerable so I'm working on that I'll talk more about that in future videos um, but it's, I'm learning a lot and um, I want to share my insights with you and I'm sleeping in the minivan tonight <laughs> so I'll say good night I really 
hope that you will be learning from life's lessons and I'm really here making this video seeming crazy to a lot of people but I don't care their opinions and criticisms judgment shouldn't matter to what we do so continue doing you keep your head up continue moving forward and I'll see you at the top good night